Hello everyone. In the last lecture, we have seen the Dobrynius work for the classification of elements. We have also read about the shortcomings of the triad model and why it was not accepted. Let's move ahead and study about the work of another scientist in the field of classification of elements. John Newland, an English chemist, arranged the then known elements, which were 56 to be specific, in the increasing order of their atomic masses. He started with the element having lower atomic mass which was hydrogen and ended at thorium which was the last element. He observed that every 8th element has the similar property to that of the first one. This variance he observed was quite similar to the musical notes occurring in the octaves. Therefore, he called it as law of octaves. In Newland's octaves, the properties of lithium and sodium were found to be same. Sodium was the eighth element after lithium. Similarly, beryllium and magnesium were found to resemble each other. His theory showed a lot of promise as all the lighter elements seemed to fall in place following the law of octaves. But as he moved for the heavier elements, the law of octaves failed. It was found that the law of octaves was only applicable up to calcium and as after calcium, every eighth element did not possess the same properties as that of the first element. It was assumed by Newland that only 56 elements existed in nature and no further elements will be discovered in the future. But later on, several elements were discovered whose properties did not fit in Newland's table. In order to place elements into his table, Newlands adjusted two elements in the same slot but also put some unlike elements under the same note. Like cobalt and nickel were placed in the same slot and also put under the same column as of fluorine, chlorine and bromine which have entirely different properties than these elements. Iron which have similar property to nickel and cobalt was placed very far away from these elements. As a result of this and many other problems, this theory failed to gain acceptance from other chemists. Therefore, the search for classification method continued. In 1869, just after three years of Newland's law of octaves, Dmitry Imanovich Mendeleev proposed the periodic law which led to the formulation of Mendeleev's periodic table of elements. We are going to see it in detail in our next video.